you may well laugh nervously. <laughs> I had this idea. I was watching the TV at the weekend, and I saw this. Uh, you see this thing, Justin Bieber in uh, London. He got attacked by the paparazzi, and they were, and he was like, ah, and they were like, ah, and he was like, ah, and I was like, it's Justin Bieber. Come on, dude. <laughs> And then I was thinking, you know what, if I was Justin Bieber or a lawyer, which I'm not, thank goodness, I'd be like this. Hey, wait a minute. What I would do, because like, you know if you take a picture of Mickey Mouse, right, and you, uh, and you used it, Disney would be like, oh, you're going to court. Well, Justin Bieber, his image is him, right? Right. Right. So if you take an image of Justin Bieber, if I was, his, if, like, if I was the accidentes guy, like that lawyer, you know the accidentes guy. <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah. The accidentes guy is, he's got a, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. The accidentes guy, he's the, he's the lawyer that has his ad on the bus, the bus yeah, uh, bench. It's like if you have an accidentes, he'll, you know, he'll take people to court. Right, right. Right. <laughs> I think an accidentes is a small accident. A I think small that's accident. what it is. Yeah. Anyway, what, what I, I thought was that, you know, if I was an unscrupulous lawyer, or I was an unscrupulous lawyer who couldn't sleep and didn't have cable, <laughs> Then what I would do is I'd get in touch with, like, Justin Bieber or somebody like that and say, hey, let's sue everybody that uses your image without your position because that's your brand, right? Like, if Mickey Mouse is Disney or Coca-Cola sign is Coca-Cola, then why not a celebrity is their, it's their brand? So they could sue people. And I thought, God, that's a great idea. And then I thought, is it? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, a great, it's a great idea. Yeah, yeah well, you always agree with me, though. That doesn't help. That's like your wife liking your screenplay. <laughs> Is it a great idea? Would it work? Ah! I don't know. Anyway, I look forward to hearing from you, lawyers. Actually, I don't look forward to hearing from you. I can have lawyers. <laughs> I'm sorry, that went in a direction I wasn't planning. Accidentes? It's like I had a little accident. A little what? Accidentes? A little accident in... Your pants. In my pants! <laughs> We've got a proper show after this. <laughs>
He is a... Wait, 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 that's me we're talking about. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. It's just something I say to myself every day before the show. <laughs> you talk to yourself? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. In that weird voice? Yeah, I do. You talk to yourself and pretend to be German? You're going to be a good robot today. <laughs> I like it. It's weird. I do that too. Do I'm like, yeah, I'm backstage. I'm like, I am hoping so. I'm doing very good tonight. <laughs> I'm hoping the audience is not smiling but laughing. But laugh. <laughs> For smiling will not be heard by the great people of the United States of America. Tell Craig his tie is nice. He has a nice tie. Yes, I love your tie. <laughs> do you like my tie? Yeah, I love your tie. It's great. I love it. It's all I care about. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> And it or 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 that's kind of freaky looking, isn't it? Or is it? Whoa! The hell? Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> no, I because thanks to the daylight savings time, we lost an hour this weekend. I've been early for everything. Oh, y yeah. <laughs> If you're watching this show, you're about to lose another hour. <laughs> Don't worry, so am I. Anyway, the, you know that this is true. Researchers, you know researchers, Jeff? Sure, yeah. Yeah, researchers, they're the guys that research things. Researchers say that the average man has three to five erections while he sleeps at night. I know! <laughs> Now, these same researchers also say that their careers in research didn't really work out as they'd planned. <laughs> so what are you working on now? I'm testing how many erections a guy has at night. I see. <laughs> While he's asleep, yes. Is that even legal? <laughs> what are you doing in my room? I was just checking to see how many erections you got. <laughs> but I was sleeping. Yeah, that's the whole point of the survey. Well, I've had three already. <laughs> Let me just write this down. Three, you say? You think you'll be having any more? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, the Conclave of Cardinals is about to begin voting for the new Pope. Uh, the new Pope will Pope up at any moment, and the winner... <laughs> I've just heard the winner will be announced live on TV by Michelle Obama and Tom Bergeron. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it kind of does. It's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, the winner of the election gets to be Pope, and uh, second place gets to date Taylor Swift. And the... <laughs> it's a joke! He's a cardinal! I can't date Taylor Swift! What the hell is wrong with you? The cardinals arrived at the Vatican this morning. I spent all day watching Joan Rivers on the conclave red carpet. Who are you wearing? <laughs> Same as everyone else, a robe. I have the same robe as everyone else. I'm also the cardinal from Germany, I see. I have the same robe. I just said to myself before I came out, I hope Joan asks me what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing the robes of a cardinal and I have Prada shoes. <laughs> Thanks. Because <laughs> remember, Jeff, America will not hear you smile. Don't disappoint Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Anyway, the real story everyone's talking about today is these Google glasses. Well, when I say everyone, I mean me. You know the, the, the glasses, the next stage of evolutionary eyewear? Do you get a picture of the new Google glasses? No, no. <laughs> the, real, the real picture. The Google glasses. Yeah, this thing. It's like you wear these and they record everything you see. It's like you have a memory. <laughs> so wait, I can see things and then they'll, I can remember them? Yes! It's like you almost had a brain. <laughs> But what happens is you can send the images to the internet and other people can play it back because we don't have enough of that already. This is going to be awesome. That's right. <laughs> no, we're going to have even more. Where everyone will be a reality show. Every single, everyone wearing glasses will be famous. <laughs> we're all going to be Honey Boo Boo. Oh, great. All of us. <laughs> oh, hurly bow dong ding dong <laughs> Boy, You know when they're going to start making little contact lenses? Like James Bond, they'll be little contact lenses. And, they'll, uh, and you'll be able to see things and record them like your mind. 
Anyway, the thing is, these glasses can use the internet to make phone calls, which is a fantastic idea, because people are already worried about radiation from cell phones, so why not take a device that you can put onto your eyes, night next to your brain, all day? <laughs> Do it with me, Jeff. <laughs> and now, experts say these glasses could re possibly replace smartphones, which means I will find a way to drop mine into the toilet, because that's oh, what yeah. I do. Oh, yeah. That's what you do. That was like a joke there, wasn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a joke. No, but every, like every other guy who hears about these glasses, I thought to myself one thing. How will this affect pornography? <laughs> how, how will these glasses change the way we view pornography? Well, for one thing, the glasses run on voice commands, so you'll just go like that. Pornography. <laughs> yeah, you can you'll be able to tell who's watching pornography because they'll go, dirty movies. <laughs> why, why is it dirty movies? <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Dirty movies. You know, with their glasses, of course, so they're completely hands-free. <laughs> oh, don't go there, girlfriends! <laughs> they're hands-free so you can multitask and by, you know... <laughs> I mean masturbate. <laughs> because it's been so difficult for people to do that up till now. Does anyone know? You only need the one hand free anyway, really. Yeah, hell, I've only got one working in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm done here. Is that it? Yeah, I'm tired of these bastards just smiling at me. <laughs> I can't hear you smiling, we America. Can't hear you smiling! <laughs> All right, so you want to uh, you want to do the yeah, commercial yeah, break thing? Well, I'll come over there. Yeah, come over here. And then you do the commercial break yeah. into that camera. All right. Sure. All right. Well, I'll, yeah. I'm coming over. I'll use the new glasses while you're coming over. All right. <laughs> All right, do, it. do the thing. Liberace. Hey. Okay, no, I'm sorry, I was using your glasses. Tonight's oh, wait, program wait, 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 is... Wait, 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 wait. Dirty movies. <laughs> yeah, Gary Busey. It's a long story. It's a long story. Tonight's program is brought to you by the all-new Apple Astigmatism. That's not a refractive disorder in your eye. That's the Internet. Is that you doing cocaine off of your stall? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> you know, I, I, I swear I think that horse has been taking acting lessons. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Like he did the drug. Yeah, it's in a bow. Look, a bow. Yeah, definitely. Terrible cocaine user. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm no expert when it comes to taking cocaine. <laughs> I am. That's not how you do it. Uh, at least back in the old days. I think now it's different, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you spread it around like that, you're going to waste a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's Dream Mail Time, brought to you by Late Late Show Laxatives, Accidentes in your pantalones. That means it's working. <laughs> Let's do our own jingle today, yeah, okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Email dates and details. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We know you have alternatives. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from a fan named Tim. That's where he sent a little picture of a bird's nest with some eggs in it, and he no, calls himself a fan named Tim. That's adorable, isn't it? Uh, this is from Attila in uh, Nove Zamke in Slovakia. What the hell? Uh, it was in Slovakia, and I can't read Slovakia. No, no. This is from Ginny in Austin, Texas. You ever been there? Beautiful place. Oh, I tell you, you know what they, they, they say keep Austin weird? Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was that weird when I was there. 
No? Is no, right? but, you know, I have a TV show where I have a notary Crikey. horse and a skeleton. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm thinking that my standard of weird is probably a little further down Weird Street yeah. than most... Most people, I, I think, if they would think, hey, his appliance is a gay talking skeleton and he has a horse that's not a real... Crikey. Horse. That's pretty weird. To me, that, to my, that's not weird to me. <laughs> this is me at my office. This, if you will, is my cubicle. Sorry, I just had an accident there. <laughs> I, you know, I've got to tell you, my, my two... My, I'm, I'm getting old Kathy Lee Gifford about this, but my two-year-old, right? He does this thing now where he's like... He's just on the edge of potty training, so he'll go like this. He'll say, I'm pooping. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so I've uh, adopted the same technique. I like that. I like the matter-of-factness of it. Yeah, it's just like, I'm pooping. I'm done. <laughs> this is from Ginny in Austin, Texas. Who says, hi, Craig and Jeff. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> Two of my sorority sisters and I want to hang with Secretariat. Can you hook us up? I don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> you want to meet the two sorority girls from Austin? <clears throat> Not until you stop doing cocaine. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get the horse off cocaine and you're oing? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> this is from Sandy in uh, Marlton in New Jersey. Have you ever been to Marlton, New oh, Jersey? Love it. Don't you have a place there? Yeah, I own a uh, laundromat there. A laundromat? Yeah. Uh, coin operated or the new type? No, it's uh, coin up. Coin up. Right, right. So people take their laundry in, they use coins, and then they wash. That's right. If you've got an accident, come on in. <laughs> Clean that right up. Sandy says, hello, Craig and Jeffrey. Use your full name, which yeah, I think Jeffrey, is, is classy. Oh, boy. When someone writes a really dumb question, do you always just throw it away without answering? Not always. Uh, <laughs> this is from Dennis in Washington, D.C. Oh. 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 Oh, it's from our government. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, do you both still file tax returns? Oh, it really is from D.C. <clears throat> well, I think technically Jeff doesn't have to file a tax return because he's dead. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I, I absolutely... Oh, you bet. <laughs> is it all right to claim a notary... Crikey! ...horse as a dependent? <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Marlene in Schomburg in Illinois, who says, Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat. What's up? <laughs> <clears throat> Which one of you had the best weekend? Um, well, uh, how was your weekend? <laughs> Cocaine, yeah. I, how was your weekend? Yeah, I was just getting coked out of my mind with Secretariat. <laughs> I think you guys should slow down. I had a lovely weekend. Let me uh, take you on a little mental picture of my weekend. Are you ready? I'm pooping. I'm done. We'll be right back. Is. Who's your new friend, Craig? I'll tell you my new friend is. <laughs> it's our new way of introducing people. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> my new friend is an American treasure. He is, in fact, George Hamilton, everybody. George, 
Rich, how lovely to see you. You look very, very nice indeed. But you mentioned something. You thought I was thin. I think you look a little thinner than I've seen you in the yes. past. You look, have you, you've lost weight. Have you about, had an accident? No, so? about 100 and, 118 pounds. 118? Yes, my girlfriend, the doctor, and I have broken up. Oh, I'm terribly sad. I yes. thought you, you were, I thought you rather liked this one. Well, I did, but you know, there's a point where I, she wanted to have children and, <laughs> and, and marriage, mm. and I just don't want stretch marks. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to say. I, that. I know, I know, you I know. know. It's a cheap thing. I know, but that's that's the show, and you'll fit in rather well if you do that. <laughs> well, I'm I'm concerned though. Are you lonely? Are you in? A, in are, you, are you all right? How are you? Well, clearly you're not eating. Well, I well I'm eating, but but you know, intravenously. But the. <laughs> I, I'm, I've left my name on the men's room and the ladies' room uh, for a good time call. Oh. And I'm just hoping, you know, I don't want any dog walking. I don't want uh, older ladies to ask me to take their dogs out. I want something more substantive, you know? Um, well, uh... A job, a job of some kind. You want a, you want a job? Yes, I want, I want a woman that sees me as a, as a breadwinner. I see. I've, are you a breadwinner? I don't know. I've never worked. Ah. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, you could make a lot of fashion modeling. You could do that. You've done that, haven't you? Well. Yeah. 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 Huh? <laughs> be... Yeah. I'd like to be in a window somewhere. Well, you, you can't. What about Amsterdam? Well, that's how you... <laughs> Any of you been to Amsterdam and in see Amsterdam, those windows? In Amsterdam, oh. the, the uh, ladies who are, uh, and the gentlemen who are... Um, uh, of the night. Yeah. They're in, they're in windows, so it's like going to Sears or something. You, yeah, like, you go, mmm. And people go window shopping, don't they? Well, they do, and they stand there, and they beckon you in. Beckon, it's yes. It's not because they like you. Isn't it? No, they want that wallet. <laughs> oh. Have you ever been to Amsterdam? Yes, been I have Amsterdam. been to Amsterdam. I've never gone into actually uh, any of the combat zones, but I have, I have noticed that there are a lot of... Uh, what about hashish? Did you do a lot of hashish oh, when yes, you were there? Yeah, bark. Yeah. Barka hash. Barka hash? Well, that's what they called it in those days, barka. I actually didn't really get into drugs, except in the 60s, I just did a little, you know, just to be sociable, you know. Right, the, yeah, yeah. Were, you, well, the 60s, everyone went crazy for drugs. Well, they did. They, 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 they did indeed. And, and uh, I, I just had to work in the day. What saved me is that these people who would stay up all night, Yes. They, they, a lot of them went ahead on. I mean, they died. So I, I was... Wait, wait. People stay up all night and watch this show, you're freaking them out. Well, only if they had to be on drugs to see you. No, they don't have... Wait, they didn't? <laughs> so, I'm concerned, though, you broke up with this lovely... Yes. You were always telling me about her, you, yes. she was a doctor, that's nice, so you got all your things for free and everything. How much does it cost if it's free? I don't even understand there is that nothing question. Uh, free in life. You know there's nothing free. The thing about it is that that you know, I have now for seven years been in love. Right. And I did not cheat. It's like a personal best. Yeah. Well Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of people in the country going, woohoo for you right there. I mean that's kind of expected of you. A little bit. A little a little bit, you well, know, I, monogamy. I had this twenty nine ninety five doll that you add warm water to and it when you squeeze it it goes more and more. But that's only when Hey, was don't on the uh, uh, do not judge my guests. <laughs> It's no, the funny. truth is, I was really very good, and and uh, and I did all the right things, which I'm not sure is the right thing to do. Well, uh, you seem jaded and, and cynical about this. I think your your heart is broken, and you need something to eat. <laughs> to eat? Something to eat? Yeah. This what? sounds like a cannibal love affair. Well, you, you want to eat a human heart? I don't know if I can go that way. Or, no, that's too much. No, I, I was in love, and, 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 I, and I have the humility to say that. The thing about it is that at some point, you know that it's not going to work, so you let it go on. And, right. And she's moved on, and, and I've moved on, and, and it's all good. It's just that, what do you say to the press? They always ask, you can't say... Oh, don't like, ask them. No one's going to ask them. They do, they know. They, they want you to say, you say, I'm so happy for them. You know, that's just so... Don't say fruits to say. Excuse me. I'm so happy for them. Oh, oh, has, she, has she moved on? Has she got someone else? Yes, she got someone else. bitch already! Yes. Yes. Already? Yes. You don't want him to hear something. Lincoln Berry. Die, do you? No! Yeah, yeah, no, you do. No, you don't want him to hear something.
want him. Yes, you do. I was just, I know, I want him because it was a mutual breakup, so I understand. But it doesn't stop the pain of it all. No, it's terribly, terribly painful. I'm very concerned for it. I know you are. Yeah, no, I am. I was very depressed this morning. My ex-wife was over and, and you know, we were talking and she was in the bathroom. I gave her a radio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's in the bathtub? Well, she, you know, comes over to take a bath from time to time. That's not an ex-wife. Well, it didn't look like my ex-wife. Uh, no, an ex-wife coming over to have a... Someone coming over at your house to have a bath is a very good friend. Well... Perhaps a lover. I, 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 I was... That might get in the way if you're having a relationship with someone else, George. You see where I'm going with this? I know where you're going. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going with you. Okay. <laughs> The thing about it all is that it's, it's funny how all these things are positive in the end because you know that you got to go on of and course. life, and it teaches you a lesson. And I'm not sure what the lesson is because I stay up late all night waiting for it and uh, watching my heartbeat, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. But I think, I think it means, George, go out with an older woman who... Well, was there a big age difference between these Well, people? um... Well, I'm 73, and uh -huh. she was 41. Hmm. So that's a bit a uh, long difference. It, yeah, they're frightened to judge you. <laughs> I'll come at them if they do. Yeah, no, no. Well, you know, that's a 41-year-old woman. I see some to... guys going, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what the guys are saying, and the girls are saying, oh, geez, what, why doesn't he get a life, that old guy? <laughs> no, I don't think that's fair. I think everybody, I'm just concerned you're thin and you're a little pale. Yeah, a little, little pale. I can't help it. Even when I'm depressed, the sun finds me. <laughs> it's true. I can't help it. Yeah. I, I, I do, uh, unfortunately, use some little aids from time to time. You know, I top up my tan. I was on the using what, Is it like cream or is it a yeah, sunbed? my own. Uh, oh, really? Yes. Really? Yes, oh, yes. I think I need that. I, I want to have a tan. I don't, on your next show, I'll come and do your makeup for you. I mean, I'll give you my, my, my tanner. And I won a tanning contest at, at UCLA once. That I find that hard to believe. <laughs> that they had a tanning contest. That's a respected university. They're like, what are we going to do now? Uh, invent something? Let's have a tanning contest. No, but they, I thought it was a, for my image, it was very good. I went out there, there were a thousand kids, and, and I, we all started at 8 o'clock in the morning. And by uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we had a judging. It went from teak to ebony, these colors. And if you're not going to believe it, but I was the winner. I had gone the, the biggest difference because I know all the tips. Oh, well, you know the tanning do. tips. Yes, yeah, I yeah, was yeah. voted the best, well, fifth best. Uh, looking black man in America. <laughs> We'll take a brief, uh, we'll take a brief uh, segment <laughs> off while I tell George what you can and can't say on television and we'll be right back. See, and to be honest with you. Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with George Salmon, who's fine. We, we've talked it through. He's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I'm real good. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> Can I come back on Wednesday, same time? Uh, it depends. Who else is on on Wednesday? I, got, I keep a list. No, actually. no. I just like to see you in your private practice. Put my feet up, Mr. Freud. I'd just like to tell you about myself. <laughs> tell me about your mother. Well, she was a real No, 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 woman. I do this accent. You don't get to do this I accent. No, no, you have to be you. I do but this you accent. Talking, what upset me a little earlier was you were talking about Germans, and mm. then I thought my girlfriend was German. Oh, well, this is probably a problem for you. <laughs> Let's get back onto your breakup, George. That's easier. <laughs> anyway, luckily, we're out of time. We're out of time. It's over. <laughs> no, it's not over. I'm not breaking up with you. I'm just... No, you just, I can't take more rejection. Yeah, it's you. not a rejection. You did great. Now we're going to throw frisbees at the horse, or you can blow my mouth organ. <laughs> what do I do, Jeff? I uh, still want to know what the number is on the bathroom stall. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you want to throw frisbees at the horse or play the mouth organ? I I'll do both. You talk a good game, sailor. Let's see it. <laughs> All right. George Hamilton, everybody. He's going to blow the Mars organ and throw frisbees at the horse. There you go.
My first next guest. My first next guest. Yeah, who's your first next guest, Craig? Let me tell you, Jeff. It's, uh, well, she's an actress. Oh. You probably can't tell, but the audience is smiling now at the very idea. They went like this. She's a very talented actress, stars in Evil Dead, which is in theatres April the 5th. <laughs> Take a look at this. I just had an accident. <laughs> Jessica Lucas, everybody! You look oh. sensational. Look Thank at you. you. You like you got a boom. You. you got it going on. Like it's all for you. It really? Yes. I'll take it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's lovely. You look fantastic. Thank you. The, look, I, you should have talked to me before you did that movie. In a horror movie, never close the bathroom mirror. I know that's the big mistake. Because right? there's You're always done a. For. <sighs> It's a horror movie, right? It is a horror movie. With evil, well, Evil Dead. Did you don't know. It could like be a co but a horror movie. Could be a co <laughs> could, it's like a, it's a drama. Could be the the George Hamilton life story of his recent <laughs> breakup. Actually, he he told me that story backstage. Well, he's just broken up with. He's like an open wound. Yeah. He's really feeling it. it's a shame. Oh, that was his pickup line the whole race. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was like, my last girlfriend was a doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he, uh, he. Have you ever had a tough breakup? I haven't. Really? No, I've been really lucky. I'm I'm so like sweet. I think it's the Canadian thing. I don't yeah. know how to break up. Well, Canadians anyway. don't break up. They just you know stay it's, together. We're very passive aggressive. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because you know uh, Scottish people had a lot to do with Canada getting formed. Did they? Oh yeah. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, Scottish tell people. Me, tell me the history. I didn't pay much attention. All right to that. then. Scottish In people came over and went. We'll take the north bit. Oh. Yeah, right. and that was it. Yeah. Oh, I see. You learn learn something. Yeah, no. I, what part of Canada are you from? I'm from Vancouver. Ah, that's lovely. That's they've got that thing there. That thing. Yeah, you, the mountain that you can ski on. That's right. Are you Wh a skier? Whistler? Whistler, it's incredible. I am a whistler. I'm not a skier. No. <laughs> I like to whistle though. Can you whistle? I can. Right, go. <whistles> I could watch you do that all night. That's very good. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Did you learn that in Vancouver? Sure. Were you part of a club it's, of whistlers? Yes, in order to ski on Whistler, you have to be able to whistle. <laughs> You're mocking me. Uh, You're mocking me, you maybe. Canadian. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You know what? I know that you've been to Vancouver before. You know why I know this? Why? You and I have met before. Really? Nine years ago, I was doing a TV show in Vancouver, and you were on it. Yes, it was the one with Kelly Osborne. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. That, that was the show I was... What, when? Is it? I, well... You were in the very last episode we ever did. We were cancelled immediately afterwards. Right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, you know what? Things didn't turn out so bad for you. I... <laughs> I, I don't know if that's true, but... <laughs> I think you're I was doing that job. I was on that show when I got the news that I'd got this job. Oh, really? Yeah, it was that very... That's why I left so hurriedly. So my... Oh, right. My failure is your success. No, it's not your failure. That was a good show. And anyway, you're an actress doing a job. You know, you're not responsible for the entire thing. Exactly. Or are you? <laughs> but the Evil Dead thing would be good. It's uh, Demons, right? Is it a remake of the original yeah, Evil it's, Dead? Yeah, um, it's not a remake. It's oh. more of like a rebirth, uh -oh. is what we're saying. Right. So Evil Dead's like the original Cabin in the Woods story, where yeah. five friends go to a cabin in the woods, read incantations out of a book that they shouldn't, and then they all get possessed and die. S Spoiler alert! Uh. Yeah. All right, but in this one that doesn't happen. Uh, don't tell us. I won't. Well, well, tell us a little bit. You have to, you well, know, strike the balance. Yeah. So, so basically, we all go to a cabin in the woods uh, to help our friend kick her addiction to heroin withdrawal, <laughs> or to heroin. Really? Kick her addiction to heroin. Yes. And then, uh, you know, someone. Is that how you do it? Because I had a terrible addiction problem earlier in my life, and no one like you offered to take me to a cabin in yeah. the woods. <laughs> That, that sounds like a high-class way to get off. Crikey! Yeah. It's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Although we go to the creepiest cabin you've ever seen in your entire well, life. Well, you know, really rehab's sure. rehab. That's the way right? it feels. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And um, did you make it in Canada? No, we were in New Zealand. New Zealand? That's mm -hmm. where they have hobbits. Hobbits? I know. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. I want to go to New Zealand. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really similar to Vancouver. It's really beautiful, and uh, the people are great. Canadian. 
Canadians. The There's a lot of Canadians there. There are. Are there? Yeah, there are. Yeah. I, I was like a guest. Yeah. No, but we, they also have the best coffee you've ever had in your entire life. I think that is the one thing that I took away from this. No, I think Hungary. Hungary. I've been there too. In Budapest? Budapest. Doesn't that have the great coffee? I guess. What do you mean, I guess? <laughs> It wasn't my favorite thing about... about oh, Budapest. yeah, because New Zealand does better coffee than Budapest. We've they lost do. the entire country. I, they do. I'm no, Buda sorry. You went to Budapest? Why, I did. Were you filming? I was also filming another horror movie. In well, Budapest yeah, because that's where ago. Dracula was hanging out. I want to drink your excellent coffee. <laughs> do you get a lot of horror movies? I, yeah, I tend to. because you're attractive. That's what happens. No, it's People true. People like to see the pretty girl get maimed. No, no, no. <laughs> no. People like to see pretty girls uh, because a lot of the movie's not going to be pretty, so it's like a rest for your eyes. Right. Well, I'm not very pretty in Evil Dead, I can tell you that. I bet you are. <laughs> Do you like what I'm doing with my eyes here? I don't know if I should have started it, but I'm doing it now. I like, like does it. Does it remind you of the movie a little bit? Like, a little uh... bit. That's kind of what happens to me. Really? Do your eyes go like this? A little bit. Can you do this with your eyes without your fingers? I don't think that's possible, is it? I don't know. It's worth trying. <laughs> You ever, been, you ever been to Amsterdam? Um, no. Can't they, got some, they got some pretty good coffee in Amsterdam. Yeah. I think they're known for more than just their coffee, aren't they? Eh, not so... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, a little bit. You yeah. traveled around a lot, though, right? I have. I've been really lucky with Well, it's because of you make movies. You go around, you make them around. You've been to New Zealand, you've been to Budapest. I was just in Austin. You were talking about Austin. Austin, Texas? In the beginning. Not yes. that weird, right? It's not weird at all. No. In fact, I was hoping to see a lot more cowboys. Apparently, they don't actually really exist. Uh, you, want, you want San Francisco or West Hollywood is where you're going to see the cowboys. Right. <laughs> Although, they might not be looking at you so much. <laughs> well, I mean, that supposed to I mean? just mean they like you and everything, but, you know, there may not be a love connection is what I'm saying. Oh, hey. Well, you know, I'm, I'm just saying it's just a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. but you know what I thought was a really weird town? New Orleans. You ever been there? I have not. Oh, you got to go there. It's fantastic. That's the party town, right? Sort of, but it's also weird. It's not just party. It's got this kind of weird veil. It's odd. It's a very strange place. Are you a youngian at all? A what? A youngian. You know, do you follow the teachings of Carl Gustav Jung? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I can't say that I do. Well, then you're robbing yourself. Oh. I should read up on that. Well, a little bit. I mean, I just I find it a very kind of, the, there's a very strange atmosphere down in New Orleans. Yeah, I rather the South enjoy. in general. The I think, South in general. Yeah. I, think. I love the South. Don't get me wrong. No, I don't think you, you were saying that you didn't Yeah, love yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Um, but it is a different vibe. Than Whereabouts in the different. South have you been? Atlanta. Atlanta, yes, mm -hmm. that's nice. Mm hmm It's pretty good. Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits? Yeah. You had that? I did. That's weird. It is kind of weird. It's like a weird porridge texture mixed with yeah, cheese. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's fish porridge. I'm not interested. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Fish porridge. Yeah, it that's is. That's what it is. <laughs> Whereas in Vancouver, you've got the uh, whistling porridge. Right. Yeah, I don't know, really know what we're known for in Vancouver. We don't have our own cuisine, really. Yeah, you do. Well, you, we have maple syrup. Yeah, you have maple syrup and you go that. Bacon. Canadian bacon. It's not a... Why are you... <laughs> These are all the things I wanted to say. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. You want to throw frisbees at my horse? Sure, I'd love to. All right, then. Take a look at everybody. Over there, everybody. There. Help yourself. Nice. Yeah. You like what I'm doing, don't you? I'm pooping. I'm finished. Good night, everybody.